achieve firmer, thicker, and more youthful skin as fast as possible? Well, today's video is about three nutrients that will help you achieve just that. Hello, my name is Nadia. I'm a double certified skincare expert with 27 years in the beauty industry, specializing in skincare and sensitive skin, and creator of the Beauty Doctrine and Functional Beauty, which is a new holistic way of looking at taking care of your skin because lots of skincare and cosmetic procedures have failed many of you. So I'm teaching everybody how to take care of your skin from the inside out and the outside in. And believe it or not, about 70% of anti-aging or age reversal can be done internally with diet and lifestyle. So the focus of today's video is going to be on three supplements that you're going to take internally that will help you achieve that firmer skin. If you get collagen, you're probably right, but not any collagen. Let's just get that straight. If you're consuming anything that has to do with bovine collagen or chicken, that is the wrong collagen and I'll tell you why. So stick around and let the learning begin. So in order for us to achieve firm skin, it is extremely important to understand what it is that makes it firm and that is collagen. And so collagen is an abundant protein in our body. It actually makes up 70% of all of the protein that's in our body. That's huge. Our hair is made up of a protein that's keratin. Our muscles are made of protein, but our skin, ligaments, connective tissue, eyes, so much collagen all throughout. And as it depletes over the years, we start getting all dried up. And also we get tight, uh, we get joint aches, we get all kinds of issues. And one of them is thinner, more brittle skin. So we need to become experts on how to synthesize that collagen as well as protect it. So I'll make a whole separate video about how to protect the collagen that you have. But going back to the collagen loss, we lose about 1% every year starting in our 20s. And I'm bracing myself because I'm 46 years old. When you get to menopause, you lose up to 30% of your collagen. The more dip you get in that estrogen, the more dip you get in the collagen. And so that's becoming more and more important for me personally. And so the research is on, I'm digging really deep into the topic and I'm passing along all of my learnings to all of you. So the first nutrient that we're gonna talk about in this video is vitamin C. Vitamin C is essential to so many metabolic functions in our body, to our immune system, but to the skin, it's very special because you cannot make collagen without vitamin C. And so the great news is that as we lose collagen, we can repair it. We can also produce new collagen. Vitamin C is integral in the production of new collagen. But like all things, it can be overdone. I see so many consumers and so many of my clients taking too much vitamin C. So I see them taking a thousand milligrams, which is recommended all throughout the internet every single day. That actually can lead to a really high amount of oxalates in the body and calcification of our arteries, kidney stones, all kinds of issues. So I emphasize so much with all things, and that includes skincare, uh, new nutrients, anything in excess can actually be really bad for you. And so consistency is really key with lower concentrations that are going to help support our skin and the health of our body. You'd probably be surprised to know that just one cup of strawberries, one orange, or one cup of broccoli, or one red pepper can supply you enough vitamin C for the day. And those are my favorite sources of vitamin C. So diet sources are always the best instead of the synthetic vitamin C that's typically an ascorbic acid. A lot of times it's GMO, a lot of it is made in China, a lot of it is really not that healthy for you. Or oh, I used to take it when I would have a cold or the flu or something like that where I need that big boost of vitamin C for my immune system to help me heal faster. And I would probably do the 1000 milligrams a day, but that's for two or three days. And that probably happens once a year. Thankfully, I haven't gotten sick for many years. So really to get that daily dose is going to support my daily body functions as well as the production of collagen in my skin, just ensuring a diet that includes raw veggies or fruits. That's really all you need. So one or two pieces of fruit should be sufficient if you cook certain vegetables. For example, red peppers tend to be very high in vitamin C if consumed raw. 
once you cook them the heat actually reduces that vitamin c content significantly so when i say you want to be consuming vitamin c from your diet or getting it from your diet just make sure you are incorporating some raw foods on a daily basis in your diet and you are good to go it's really that simple and just to attach a number to the average daily recommendation for women all you need is about 75 milligrams per day for men about 90 milligrams it could vary a little bit depending on size i'm tall i'm 5'9 maybe i'll need 90 but really if you just go back to those portions that i mentioned earlier they are plenty for pregnant women they tend to need about 120 milligrams on average per day if it's difficult for you to still get that one piece of fruit or vegetable with vitamin C every single day, you can find my recommended supplements on my website, thebeautydoctrine.com. I will also link recommendations in the description below, so check it out. And before we move any further, please subscribe to this channel. I'm just getting started, so there's so much knowledge coming your way. The next nutrient that I'm going to talk about, I don't think I've seen any dermatologist or skincare expert or influencer talk about how amazing and how essential it is to the skin. It is completely forgotten, but it is just as important as collagen, and that is creatine. We tend to think of creatine as a supplement for building muscle. Yes, we want to build muscle to support our skin it's going to support our collagen also but muscle loss underneath the skin leads to a lot of sagging i see so many terrible face yoga moves on youtube and all over the internet where we're stretching the skin we're creating wrinkles around the mouth just so we can lift the cheek muscles i'm still going to make a video about facial yoga that does not necessarily stretch the skin or lead to wrinkles but back to creatine creatine is phenomenal phenomenal and we need to be consuming it every single day to support actually the hydration of the muscle the muscle strength and muscle density as well as skin density and so you can find creatine in pretty much all meat sources so you'll find it in red meat and fish i prefer fish i prefer wild salmon i talk about that all the time also sardines uh, but you can get it uh, commercially in a supplement and again i will link up my recommendations below a little bonus that's not related to your skin creatine is phenomenal for your brain sharpness and brain health i know you've been waiting for me to talk about collagen it's a big topic it's everywhere and there are so many bad and actually unhealthy collagen powders out there let's start with why i don't think that chicken or bovine can be viable options also liquid collagen versus powder collagen it is a question that comes up all the time so let's clear all that up let's start with why chicken collagen is really not healthy for you first it's extracted from the the cartilage the skin the bones of chickens but mostly it's been really really difficult for me to actually find a good source mostly it is extracted from factory farm chicken those are unhealthy sick animals because they're cooped up in cages not being able to even walk outside so you want cage-free chickens and the conditions in which these animals are farmed are really awful and unhealthy for them and for us uh, and so because they tend to be very sick animals they're constantly given antibiotics as part off their daily diet to treat all the infections and those antibiotics guess what they are passed on to our systems and of course it's going to really mess up our hormonal balance talking of hormones they're also given hormones to make them much bigger and that makes us much bigger too so part of the reason why obesity is such a pandemic now in the u.s especially is because of factory grown animals let's just say that you got your hands on a chicken collagen that is uh, grass-fed that is pasture-raised is not given antibiotics and that's organic which is really really difficult to find even that it is type 2 collagen which is not the collagen that we need for our skin we need type 1 and where do you find the most bioavailable type 1 collagen 
in fish. But before we get to fish, let's check off the bovine as a bad option as well. So very similar to the way that chickens are raised in the West uh, these days, bovine has the same issues. Their cows are given antibiotics and, and hormones and they're fed corn, which makes them really sick. Their systems are not designed to be consuming corn and corn is GMO. I mean, the list goes on. It's, you can keep digging and digging and all you find is that these animals are not healthy therefore they cannot in any way make us healthy on top of that let's just pretend that we found the perfectly raised cow still cow collagen is not healthy for us why because once they remove those hides and they want to grind them up to make up collagen guess what happens they soak them in chemicals to remove that hair and that is just absolutely disgusting <laughs> so what chemicals can you imagine are needed to remove separate that hair from the hide and so that cannot be healthy so for me i don't even look in the direction of chicken or bovine collagen the only exception is if i'm making it at home if you buy a great hormone free antibiotic free pasture raised organic chicken you know bring it home and you can cook it for 20 hours uh and make that like raw like true true collagen it becomes you know it, you know the bones kind of release the collagen when it's slow cooked over time it, they release it in the water and that's how you can make the healthiest bone broth the second way that you can get it is buy it you can get buy dried bone broth from organic chickens and to quickly answer the question that i've gotten from so many of you why is liquid collagen not a great option first of all anywhere that you put water anywhere there is a liquid there is a requirement for preservatives preservatives are a culprit in our gut issues that a lot of us are experiencing today uh, leading to leaky gut because if they are preserving any type of product from harmful bacteria they're eliminating good and bad bacteria within your system and they're just too hard on our bodies so eventually that can lead to leaky gut so all those fillers and additives and preservatives can have potentially a negative effect on our bodies so it's best to avoid them the other piece that's almost always there when you look at liquid collagen is an added taste right so when you're drinking something you want it to be palatable and so uh, there is often added sugar or juice or sugar substitutes and none of those are good options sugar substitutes are just as bad as sugar because again they can impact our gut microbiome in a negative way and so the very best option if you really are looking for the best of the best it's gonna have to be powdered marine collagen that is wild caught. I love nutrition and so I'll be talking quite a bit about other nutrients that can support your skin and even reverse aging in upcoming videos so don't forget to subscribe like this video and share it with people you care about. Until next time stay beautiful naturally.